feedback in the casting process when they were casting a fictionalized version of you? Yeah, no, absolutely. And uh, I also, um, I'm good at knowing what I don't know. So when it came to characters like uh, Robert Patrick's character or Catherine McPhee's character, uh, these are not people I work with every day. So I had to leave that to the professionals to, to pick out. And they did an amazing job. I can't believe we got the Terminator. And, uh, and the perfect girl next door. Um, for the main characters, obviously we were casting a character as Walter and, and some of the other characters are all inspired by real people I work with. So it's interesting for me to sit back and watch the reels and go, hmm, does that look like Fred? <laughs> or does that sound like Fred? And I think, you know, in pilot season where you have 44 different uh, uh, channels trying to trying to cast the same people in the same two weeks, it's a crazy lottery pick and we, we really won out got very lucky with who we got. And, um, you know, it was really when I started watching the dailies and seeing them interacting, I, I knew we got the right crew. Because it is an oddball crew, they're not supposed to match, they're not supposed to blend together. They're all individuals, and that's exactly what we got. There's, but, oh, and the, the, the scene with the car and the airplane, there's a little bit of suspending your disbelief when you're watching that, whether that could actually happen or not, um, at least for some people. Right. Yeah. So, so, going forward in the series, is that going to be kind of um, a framework that you have to take when you watch episodes? Or will they're saving the world um, be more maybe grounded in reality going forward? Going forward, I don't think we, you know, we can't, especially we would love to achieve that sort of level of, of, of action, of adventure. We just can't. We can't do it in series. I think going forward, we have, we, we raise a level of suspense. We, raise, we, we do a lot of adventure stuff. A lot of things that they shouldn't do because people just shouldn't do those things. But these are extremely high intelligent people who think that they can solve every problem. So they do get into things that they probably shouldn't be doing, but it's much more on a suspense level, it's much more on a, you know, on a smaller scale, but with the same sort of stakes and intensity. I mean, what was the most challenging um, aspect of, of putting the pilot together? Because there's just so many different elements, you know? You've got the character stuff, you have the action, you have to keep in mind all the, uh, all the different issues that the characters are, are dealing with. Yeah, I think just, just from tone. Tone is the thing that's always the hardest, I think, with any pilot, is to find a tone that's just something that you want to respond to. You take humor and action and, you know, science and car chases and what's the sort of through line down the middle of it. And that was achieved, I think, brilliantly by Justin and by Victor talk a little bit about the dynamics of the team. How do, um, you know, all of these very highly intelligent people work together? Are they mostly getting along? Is there some conflict? And how does Paige sort of interact with each other? Well, Paige is effectively uh, a super nanny <laughs> for this team. And that's a term that we got from Walter in his real-life Scorpion company. They have people who take on the role and, and might even have the title of super nanny. And they're uh, people who have EQ, emotional quotient, that allows them to interact with their clients in a way that the geniuses can't. Because the geniuses will sometimes get frustrated with humans. Because Walter, and it's one of my favorite things about Walter, is he told me the first day we ever met is, oh, we refer to non-geniuses as humans. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so Paige will oversee this team and try to get them not only to interact properly with the public at large, but with each other. Um, Walter has told me uh, at times that geniuses can become very competitive with each other. There can be bickering, there can be jealousies, there can be moments just like any family, and this show is about a family, this, this team is a family, where we're going to fight over something because neither one of us will, will budge on who's right and who's wrong. And Paige will get into the mix because she has, over the years of raising her eight, nine-year-old kid, Ralph, who's a genius, really honed, day in, day out, honed on how to handle a genius. So she's perfect to work with these guys. And it's going, I mean, as for dynamic, it's going to be a show about a family at the end of the day. And that's why I think families will like this. This is, this is the first thing 
I've ever made that I've let one of my kids watch. I don't let my daughters watch Prison Break. <laughs> no, no, break <laughs> no, I do not. Breakout Kings is too much violence and too much bad language. Um, but I let my 10 year old watch Scorpion, and man, I was so happy because she flipped for it. That's the heart of this show. This show is heroes and heart and humor. And that's the heart of this show is that magic triangle of Walter, Paige, and Ralph. And that's going to be the core of this family. That's the nucleus and all these other characters are the electrons that revolve around that core. And Ralph is Walter's chance in a weird way to almost save himself. The real life Walter, the first day I sat down with him, was very honest with me. And he said, childhood is tough. At times it was very tough. At times it was nice, but at times it was very tough. And there were kids who would tease me, and there were teachers who didn't understand me. There were parents who were very kind, decent people, but they didn't always get me. Because, as Walter will tell you, he's not the same species as we are. If the definition of species is any organism whose organ uh, differentiates more than 20% from the norm, and Walter's brain is more than 20% denser and would I suppose, larger heavier. and heavier. See, I'm so stupid I can't even remember. And we have it in a script that we just filmed yesterday. I already forgot it. And so Walter isn't even the same species as us, technically. So that's hard. And now in the show, Walter can connect with this little boy and say, I'm going to protect him in the way I wasn't protected. Because people like us are important. And they are. And I think there's an intellectual component to it where Walter says, I need to protect that kid because they're important. And I think there's the tiniest bit, a little seedling of emotion in Walter, of EQ, where he says, I'm going to protect him because deep down it makes me feel good. And the real life Walter will tell you, I don't know about that, but he's got some emotion in it. It's in there. Walter, how, how much of what we're going to see on the show really mirrors the things that you've done? I mean, have you ever driven under a plane in a Ferrari before? <laughs> that, that would be pretty cool. Um, have I driven a Ferrari at that speed? Yes. <laughs> oh. Have I been in a plane at that speed? Yes. <laughs> have we both at the same time directly over each other eight feet now? Um, Walter is a race car driver, competitive about, drifter. Oh. About 70% of the uh, pilot is actually true. A lot of the truth in my life is stranger than fiction. And a lot of the fictional elements of the show are some of the emotion and, and humor and things that get injected in in a very real way into the show. But um, a lot of the technical elements of the show actually happened and are real. I have one more quick question. It would be: Is um, will we find out the history sooner rather than later between Walter and Agent um, Gallo? Well, the history. Oh, the the history. history, will that be something that plays over the long haul or shorter? It, we, we want to, with an eyedropper, feed the audience okay. each episode a little bit more. But we really love that relationship. It's a beautiful relationship. And it's going to be really tested. Because okay. there's stuff in their, in, in their background that isn't on the surface yet. Okay. A big part of it is explained at the end of the pilot. Right. All right. Okay, thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thank you.